My name is Taylor I Lift, and today I am joined by my lovely assistant, Milkshakes. I love how she's laying down, but she's like aggressively wagging her tail. And I think it's because she really wants to get fed, but she still has about like a half hour till I feed her. Pet owners know what's up. See, she's been exposed, so she left. So today, after a few weeks of some unrelated content, I'm glad to give you guys a slight training update today, as well as another informative video. But I am also glad to point out that this is also a powerlifting or strength sports specific informative video. So this should be a short video today. I'm going to go into our discussion first and my training update last. As always, timestamps in the description box below if you're here for one or the other. So coaching, it seems like everyone has a coach these days and or are on a program. So first of all, what is the difference between coaching and programming? So programming is strictly what you'll be doing during your workouts. It's the frequency, intensity, and volume, basically the prescribed reps and sets every workout, every week. And that's it. There are many good free programs online and there are many decent to good or great paid for programs online. Also some coaches may provide programming, strictly programming at a discounted price. So if you're pretty good about holding yourself accountable, you don't need too much help with the mental side of lifting or the nutrition side of lifting, you're pretty self-sufficient you may only need a program. Then on the other hand, you have coaching. And coaching is just literally everything else on a day-to-day -day basis that a program does not cover. Many, if not most, coaches will also cover your diet protocol for a program. And it's normally extra, but they can also help you diet down for a weight class and or successfully execute a water cut for a meet. The coach is there to also provide you with information, form checks, they can give you cues to help improve your lifts, and they can also point out when you're executing something very well, or if you're not lifting as efficiently as you possibly can, especially for your body type, your mechanics. Coaches also are able to assist in the mental side of lifting, so basically talking you off the ledge, when you want to quit, or if you're encountering a weight that you're very afraid of or intimidated by. And they're also able to talk you through, you know, bad days or any kind of anxieties you might have. Finally, coaches provide you with meet day assistance that a program, no matter the AI as of right now, can provide for you. So at the very least, they will plan out temps selection for you for meet day. So what are some signs that you need coaching as opposed to just programming? The very basic signs that you may need or benefit from a coaching service would simply be if you're plateauing, meaning that whatever programs you're digging up from the internet or whatever programming you're doing for yourself just isn't working. A second reason you may need coaching is if you're just very unsure about your form and you don't really have anyone like at your gym or on social media who can really help you with your form. Now Instagram and like Reddit are really good resources. You can kind of post a video of you lifting and say like, hey, if anyone has any recommendations, if you guys notice anything, or hey, I'm having trouble with this, what do you guys recommend? You can usually find somebody to help you, but again, if the advice you're getting from online isn't very helpful, or you're having a hard time executing the advice you're getting online, then again, a coach will be great for that. But also, they'll be able to keep an eye on you as the weeks progress to make sure that you're hammering in certain cues and certain form changes. And cues might change, maybe for a slightly less experienced lifter who maybe they need to get their knees out in the squat, you might kind of cue knees out. Okay, well maybe they formed a better relationship with their body, but they're still having a hard time as the weeks go on getting their knees out. Well then maybe you might advance it to a cue like, hey, think about screwing your feet into the floor and think about spreading the floor 
with your feet, with your toes, while keeping them planted. And that's a good cue for externally rotating the hips, getting their knees out. But I would not give a novice lifter a cue like that because that is very hard to conceptualize between their hips and their feet and the ground. You find that you like to compete pretty frequently, especially if the people who would go with you to your meet are not extremely helpful as handlers. And you know, it's hard to find good peaking programs that are effective for you as a lifter, especially the more advanced that you get. When you kind of enter being an intermediate or an advanced lifter, you'll find that everyone peaks a little bit differently dependent on their mechanics, their size, how much they weigh, their training age, how much just pure tonnage they're lifting. And that is something that's very important that a program can't really plan for. And three, if you are or you plan on being very competitive, you plan on going to higher level meets, you have your eyes set on maybe some national or world records, you will probably need a coach to kind of help guide you and assist you along the way. Another reason that you may need programming or coaching is just accountability. You know, you kind of write down what you plan on doing, you know, weeks in advance, or you have a program you're following, but you're just not sticking to it perfectly. Maybe you're overshooting RPE, maybe you're YOLOing it too much, maybe you're skipping too many parts of the program, like how I can do with accessories when I program for myself. And so maybe just getting on a program if you're self-programmed, or getting a coach if you're following a program. Just kind of make sure you're on top of what you need to be doing to be stronger and a better lifter. So maybe you hear all of that and you're like, okay, that's not me. I don't compete a lot or I'm not very competitive or my form's pretty good and I just don't need a lot of help or guidance. Again, maybe a program might be right for you. Maybe you've been self-programmed for a while or maybe you've just been going into the gym a lot and winging it and that's just not going to cut it anymore. But otherwise, you're pretty self-sufficient as a lifter. A program might be just the thing that you need. Which brings me to my training update. So first of all, I haven't done any like very in-depth training updates just because my training has been very like boring lately. It's been very, okay, I wouldn't say very, but it's been lower volume than what I normally do. And it's been at way lower intensities, kind of very sub-maximal loads. So to me, my training has been very boring lately, but I will say I've been doing a lot better and I've been way more on top of my accessories lately. So I would really like to kind of post just like what a week is looking like for me now in terms of training and not so much focus on the numbers. So, and the main reason I've been a lot better about doing my accessories is because I have finally let go of the reins of my programming and I have started following an online program. Now, like I said in the first half, I am very self-sufficient as a lifter. My form is pretty solid on everything. My technique, I would hope so as a personal trainer, but you would be disappointed and surprised at some gyms you go to and the trainers are lifting like crap, but that's a different rant for a different day. So I just found that I was like always perpetually skipping out on my accessories. So recently my boyfriend got a subscription to Strength Lead and he said, hey, if you're interested in any of the resources, or any of their programs, like, you know, maybe check them out and see if you like anything. And I actually started following a program at first, and again, I was being really on top of my accessories. When I started this program, like, it still wasn't perfect. It still, like, kind of wasn't the ideal split that I would like for myself, but it was my preferred of, I think the three I was looking at. So I've been doing that, I'm on week three, but I'm actually going to be switching to a different program just because February 1st, they released a bunch of new programs and one of them actually looks perfect for me. It's the Unfuck Your Squat program by Sierra Cho. And honestly, my squat is pretty fucked. I would say of all my lifts, it's the most underwhelming. Like I'm hoping to deadlift either 385 or maybe even finally hit that 400 pound threshold in the deadlift at some point this year. And I'm hoping to finally hit 225 on bench this year. Both very solid numbers and my squat has been sitting between 315 and 335 
for months now. And if you watched my first ever video on this channel, you'll know why. Just everything with my spine being out of line and my hips being kind of all wonky. Granted are better now, I still kind of struggle with a little bit in the squat and bench. This program basically has like comprehensive warm-ups that I need for myself personally. It has the back volume I'm looking for. My back is probably the weakest part of my body as a lifter and honestly it's the thing I isolate the least. And my deadlift has been in a spot I think for the last six months where I'm totally fine with where it is and I would be happy to progress it but it's not my number one priority. So I am so happy that Strength Leap came out with a program that kind of focuses on the squat but also has programming for the full body for the three lifts. It has the frequency I need, it has the accessory protocol, and it has the volume that I need. So I'm very excited and I will keep you guys updated with how that goes. I'll probably kind of record what a week is like for me on that program very, very soon. So yeah, if you made it to the end, Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed that short update and informative portion of the video. Vlog coming next week. Kind of detailing my life currently as a personal trainer after the lockdowns and at the tail end of a pandemic. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next one.